Alright everybody, so now we're going to be talking about speed drop. All right? Speed drop is a formula that we've come up with um, at Axe First to get your elevation hold from your range by knowing one number. So the goal with speed drop, like, like I just said, is I want to know one number. And then from that number, I want to get my elevation hold. Right? And the capability of speed drop is within your range min and range max. So if you come in, hit calibrate, you'll see the range min, range max, and it works within that distance. All right. Now, speed drop is phenomenal because you can make it as accurate as you want to make it. All right? You can set your tolerance budget or your precision level to be within 0.1 or 0.2. Now, 0.1.2, the way you can set your error budget is by coming into speed drop. You'll see the speed drop number thing is highlighted first at the center button. You'll see error is 0.1.2. So there's going to be a little bit of error with your speed drop and because you set it up that way. So you set it to either 0.1 or 0.2 level of error. All right, now, why would you want it to be set to 0.2? Well, 0.2 gives you distance, further distance than 0.1 does. All right, so when you're using speed drop, you're not looking at your Kestrel, you're not looking at anything, you're getting a, an elevation hold um, from your range and you're getting it quick. All right, now, so how, what is speed drop? How does it work? How's all this happening? Um, so you come in, you calibrate it, and you, what you're gonna see is your speed drop number says like 1.4 or whatever. Now, I've come in, I've built the gun, all right? I, and I've built a brand new gun and it is set to um, whatever the Kestrel auto sets up, so it's like 2650 with the G1 475. All right, so come in if you want to follow along, build that gun with me. Uh, I've currently got my environmentals set to 60 degrees of Fahrenheit, 27 inches of mercury, all right, for station pressure, and 50% humidity. All right, that's what my environmentals are set to. All right, now when I come in and I go to the speed drop page, I get a speed drop number of 1.4. Right, what is that? How do we use it? Um, 1.4, if you take your range, all right, so let's say, um, let's say 300. All right, now I'm gonna take the decimal point behind 300 and move it behind the hundreds place. So really what I'm doing is I'm dividing my range by 100. All right, so 300 becomes three, 400 becomes four, 480 becomes 4.8, all right? So we're at 300. Oh, goodness. So three, all right. I'm going to subtract that 1.4 from my range, and that's going to give me my elevation hold. I can do this inside range min and range max, all right. So if you say 300 meters, all right, minus 1.4 is 1.6. So now if we come into range guard and we look at 300 meters, my elevation hold says 1.4. All right, that's within 0.2 mils of what I selected. Now, that error at that point is 0.2, all right, because I set the error budget in my Kestrel to be 0.2 mils of error. I'm okay with that because it lets me step out a little bit further. If I don't have my Kestrel with me and I'm trying to take a shot, I'm already accepting some level of imprecision, so you can set it however you want to set it. You can be within 0.1 mils if you want to. Your ammo's not 0.1. Um, unless you're shooting reloads or something like that. Um, so most of the time your gun's not 0.1, your ammo's probably not 0.1 um, level of error, accuracy at least. So accepting 0.1 of error is typically okay. Now, this is a more of a rapid engagement type tool. Obviously if you're shooting, punching out X-rings or something like that, you're not using speed drop anyways. Um, but this is more for that speed formula it's called speed drop so it's that speed formula all right now that you saw 300 we got 1.6 my actual elevation hold was um, 1.4 so I'm within 0.2 all right but I'm okay with that because that's the level I set my error budget to all right now we can come in and talk about how this 1.4 gets derived a little bit more by coming in and we'll actually start at 150 meters, 200 meters, 250. I'm just going to build a little range card here up on the board so you can follow along. 350, 400, 450, and 500. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my range card and I'm going to go to 50 meter increments and I'm going to look at my elevation holds. All right, so 150 says 0.2 and I'm rounding to the tenth. 200 says 0.5. 250 says 0.9, 400 
300 says 1.4. 350 says 1.9. 4 says 2.4. 450 says 3 mils, and 500 says 3.5. All right, so we're coming in, we're taking our range, and we're going to divide by 100. So 150 is 1.5, one all the way down, like so. Then we're taking our range, and we're subtracting our elevation hole. So 1.5 minus 0.2 gives me 1.3. 200 minus 1.5 is 1.5. 250 minus 0.9 is 1.6. All right, 300 minus 1.4 is 1.6. Right here is 1.6. This is 1.6. This is 1.5. This is 1.5. All right, so it's walking out. All right, now, you can see how the number that I need to subtract from my range to get my elevation hold starts out small, and then it gets bigger and then it starts getting smaller again, and it crests at some point. So now, now that we've got this speed up number of 1.4, we can come in, so if I said, hey, target is at 440, you come in, from you minus 1.4, you'd hold three mils, all right? So again, if you come into range card, and you look at 440 meters, 440, this is 2.8. We're right there, all right? So we're still within 0.2, that's because I said it. Now, if you come in, we said 530, all right? So if you come in, do 530. One way to think about this, guys, it might help with the math and stuff like this, if, if this is intimidating, if you think, don't think that this is fast, is take that 1.4 and break it into two steps. So we're saying 530 minus 1.4. So 5.3 minus 1.4, how do you do that easy? You say minus one minus four, or minus one minus 0.4, all right? So, what, what we're doing is we're breaking it into two steps. So 530 minus one is 43, minus 0.4 is 39, all right? So now we come in, we look at 530, and actual elevation hold says 3.92. So we're right there, right on it. So that's gonna be at this point in this little curve right here. So a little bit further out of the range, but at that point where it's just touching and it's starting to get out again, all right? So it works, this gun that we've got set up works all the way up to uh, it, the max range says 584 meters for me. So I can use this all the way up to 584. If I have to take my range and subtract some number and I can get my elevation hold from it, right? And I can do this all the way out to 584 meters with this gun. Instead of saying take your range minus your speed drop number and then that gives you your, your elevation hold, what if instead I said take your elevation hold, add your speed drop number, and you get your range? It's the same thing, and that, that's going to work. And if I do 1.4, if I add 1.4 to all my elevation holds inside of the speed drop capability, then I'm going to be within 0.2 of my range. How do you add elevation hold to your existing elevation hold? Meaning, if I wanted to hold one, the 1 mil line below the crosshairs at 100 meters and hit on the 1 mil line at 100 meters, what would I do? I would just need to dial down below zero 1 mil. And when I do that, my bullet will be impacting on the windmill line at 100 meters. So that's effectively how we add elevation hold because now I have to hold the mill at 100 meters to hit there. So we can add elevation hold that way. So what if we dialed down below zero our speed drop number? So we dial down 1.4, your range is your elevation hold. You've effectively turned your trimmer three or whatever reticle you're running, your gridded mill reticle, into a ballistic reticle inside of the speed drop capabilities, all right? So inside those ranges. But you've turned that gridded mill reticle into a ballistic reticle that works for any gun at any density altitude with any, a lot of, with any lot of ammo because you've calibrated it. You've come in, you've set it up, you've built it. And it's as accurate as you want to make it. So you can be within 0.1 mils all the way out, or you can be within 0.2. If you're brave, you might be 0.3, but we don't let you set it to 0.3, so you can't. All right? But you can be within 0.1, 0.2. All right? Now, how do we come in and prove this to you? So come in to gun and go to ZH. All right? So I'm going to follow along with you. So we're going to walk into gun. You're going to go to ZH. You're going to hit the center button. You're going to change the units to mils. All right, now once you change the units to mils, you're gonna plug in a negative 1.4, whatever your speed drop number says, negative 1.4 for my gun at least, 
into ZH. And now what you're going to see, once you go back into range card and look at all your elevation holds inside of that speed drop min-max range, is that your elevation hold is going to be within 0.2 or 0.1, depending on what whatever you have set up, of your range. So if he's at 520, you hold 5.2 mils. 370, 3.7 kind of deal. All right, it's that quick, it's that fast. There is no thinking involved. And you can be extremely accurate with it.